I'm out here with uh, Mike uh, down in Sacramento on that same house. He was up there on that shake roof, and looks like, Mike, you're at the main electrical panel here. What, yeah. what are you looking at here at the main electrical panel? Well, main electrical panel, we look at quite a few different things. Uh, for one, we start off by looking at what kind of brand it is. In this case, it's an old Zensco panel, a company that's been out of business for quite a while. Uh, a couple other things we look at. One, we want to look at each individual breaker. We want to make sure there's no scorching, there's no damage, there's no tripped breakers or anything like that. Uh, we're also looking at the wires. As we go down, we're looking to make sure that we have the right wire size going to the proper breaker. We're also looking to see if any of them are damaged, scorched, uh, broken, not connected to the breaker. Other thing we're looking at, like right here, somebody cleverly came in and twisted two wires into one breaker. That's what we call a double tap. Now, the issue with double taps is uh, it can overload the circuit if you're using too much of those two circuits right there at the same time. So it's always good to get that taken care of because that could potentially become a fire hazard uh, in the future. So on top of that, we also look to see if we have grounds and neutrals and everything. Um, <clears throat> we're looking for anything like say right here at the bottom of the panel, looks like some moisture has been getting into the back side of it, probably rain coming in through the back. It's always good to seal around the panels when they're installed to the exterior of the building. Um, we're also looking for any data information. The manufacturer usually puts uh, all the information about the panel either on the cover or on the back side. So like right here. So this is all the information on the panel, how to wire it up and everything. Reason why we're looking for that is because we need to know what the max amperage is for this panel. So for the main disconnect, which is this one here, it's 175 so we need to make sure that that is at or less than the max in the panel so in this case the max is 200 amps so that's so just a go. panel rating that you're looking at to make sure that that main breaker either matches or is less than the, than, than the panel rating mm -hmm. itself yep. and you know but mike i want to go back to what you call the double tap down there okay. so typically as a home inspector I, I would imagine we're just gonna you're gonna refer that out to an electrical contractor is that pretty I much so am. standard yes i certainly am uh like i said things like this uh can become a potential fire hazard um and anything like that it's very very important especially when it comes to electrical um we don't want anybody getting hurt for one, and we don't want anything happening to the panel or to the house or the inhabitants in the house. So it's very, very important that we do call things out like this. Okay. Uh, and it's very, very important that you have an electrician come out and take a look at it. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate yep. it.